Sean Patrick Flannery. Now each week Flannery gets to go back in time and witness some of the historical events that shaped our times and meet everybody who was anybody back in the early 1900s. Going to work for young Sean is like stepping into a time machine to witness history. When Sean Patrick Flannery was growing up, the Indiana Jones movies were the movies to see. And like a lot of kids his age, Flannery spent much of his youth pretending he was Indy. But never in a million years did Sean even imagine that one day he would star as young Indy for none other than George Lucas. The guy's got, you know, a 360 degree imagination where I think, you know, the population has 90. You know, I mean, he just sees so many different angles of so many things. I mean, he's such a creative guy. That, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to even elaborate on his thought process because it's beyond me, you know. Action! A former autocross racer and triathlete, Flannery has always enjoyed living on the edge. This job allows Sean to fulfill most of his hey. adrenaline junkie fantasies and then some. I get to do all my own stunts. I mean, I've uh, jumped off buildings. I've been in burning, exploding buildings. I've been blown up. I mean, I've done uh, air ram jumps. I've... Uh, hung on to a ninth floor, floor balcony, you know, by my fingertips. Um, you know, the little bitty cable, the size of, you know, this little cord, um, holding you up, and they're like, oh, it holds 8,000 pounds. You're like, okay, fine, I trust you, you know? You're holding by your fingertips, and they're like, if you fall, it'll catch you. In five feet, it'll jerk you to a stop. You're like, I'm looking forward to that, you know? It's strapped where? In between my legs? Great. <laughs> Sean made it through that stunt in one piece, but he did have one frightening close call on horseback. I was riding um, Hurricane, which is Harrison's horse in all the movies, and there was a tracking vehicle in front of the horse. So the camera's on the back of the tracking vehicle, pointing right at my face, and I'm riding this horse, and I'm reaching out with my hand, and um, there was a bump in the dirt road, so the tracking vehicle hit the brakes. Well, my hoof clipped the back bumper, and Hurricane was a star, you know, he was in... Um, all the Rambo films, all the Indiana Jones films. This horse, horse is, you know, the Jack Nicholson of ponies, you know. <laughs> and he flips over, head over heels. I mean, I jumped, I'd like leapfrogged his head, landed on my feet, but the horse is on his back, just going, Woo! you know, his eyes are the size of tennis balls. My heart was just going crazy. I thought, oh, you know. And then he got right back up and walked away. <laughs> What could be more fun than doing your own stunts? How about a little on-set pyrotechnics? All the explosions are real. I mean, every time you see, you know, a tank being blown up, I mean, we really blew up a tank. Sean's role in the young Indiana Jones Chronicles is nothing short of, well, a blast. It has enabled him to travel all over the world. He's met some of history's most dynamic figures and some of the film industry's most talented players. And he's done some exhilarating stunt work. You might wonder how Flannery's real life could possibly measure up to all of this. It's actually a moot point. Since the actor's schedule is so non-stop, he doesn't really have a life. Let's just hope he's keeping a journal. I'm spinning so fast from show to show, episode to episode, you know, a new director, you know, a new cast, a new country, a new city. Everything is brand new every three weeks. You know, I've been picked up from one planet and stuck on another one. And it's not to say that either planet is better, it's just a different planet.